Hi, Ross here from Wizards Code. And in this session, we're going to take the UMA that we created in the previous video, link up above, and turn it into a whole crowd of UMAs wandering around like we see here. In this video, we'll put in the scripts and everything to do that, but we won't create the terrain just yet. So let's get going. We're going to need some animation controllers and some scripts. And these are available in a GitHub repo at the wizards codes slash animation. And it's really easy to install. You just copy this URL here and then switch over to Unity again. Open the package manager, which is under the window menu. And in the top left here, you've got this plus sign and it can add a package from a Git URL. Paste the URL, click add. And after a short while, it will be installed. We're also going to need some scripts that come from a different repo, the wizard's code character. Exactly the same process, copy the URL, go to the editor, open the package manager, click the plus, add package from git URL, paste it in, click add. Okay, now we're ready to set up our scene. So let's create a plane to act as the floor for our umas to walk on. And let's just center that. Okay, good. We'll make it bigger as well, have lots of space for them to walk around in. So next up, we need to add UMA. So we need the UMA DCS prefab and the UMA random generator character. Um, there's another video I've done which goes into detail on these uh, link up above right now. So if you know what you're doing, let's expand the grid size to 10 by 10, put a grid distance of 2 and an offset of 0.5. Okay, actually I think I'm going to have a grid distance of 1. Now the UMAs that that's going to generate need to have the wonder script on, which comes from the wizard's code character package that we imported. So let's find that and drag it into an instance of the UMA dynamic character avatar LOD, which I'd added off screen here. Um, it comes from the UMA getting started folder. So once you have that, um, you can create a prefab variant of it. So it has your wonder script on. And we're going to name this, uh, I think we'll name this Crowd Uma. Ignore the other prefab variant here. That was from a test that I was doing earlier. So now we'll delete the uh, version in the scene and go to our character generator and just drag our prefab variant into that. Hit play. And now we should see our Uma's wandering. Let's just click off that to get rid of the gizmos. And they're not wandering. Oh, I know why. I've not generated the nav mesh. So click the plane, navigation, bake. Actually, I forgot to tell it that the object is walkable. Now I can bake. Okay, that's baked. Hit play. Go back to the inspector. And there they go. They are now wandering, but they have no animations. So let's have a look at our animations next. Now, the first thing we need to do is convert the nav mesh motion into animation parameters. Inside the wizard's code animation project, there is a script called simple locomotion controller. So drag that into your prefab for your UMA. And this just does a really simple translation from nav mesh movement to forward and turn parameters. So if we hit play, this will actually work even with no animation, but you see they're running everywhere because the UMA default controller only has run and idle. So what can we do about that? Well, actually, before I do that, I've noticed that quite a few of the people look weird. So let's go in and create a duplicate of our random people generator. And let's play with the DNA in here. Let's make them look a little bit more realistic. Um, if you don't know about this process, do check out the earlier video I referred to on creating your UMAs. That goes into some detail about the DNA and so on. But what I'm doing here is essentially just um, making things look a little bit more natural. Um, making the uh, muscular tone and the breast size and the height and a few things like that a little bit more realistic. So I'll speed this up. Watch the video linked above if you want to uh, go a bit deeper into how to do this stuff. So now we've got that done, we need to have some animations and we're going to use some standard assets animations. So these are available in the asset store. 
Uh, you can see here that it's standard assets for Unity 2017, but don't worry about the 2017, we're just going to import the animations from here. So when you've got the import package window, deselect everything and then find the characters, third person character, animations and select that. That's all you need. So click import. So now we need to make those animations available to our UMA. And there's some uh, utilities that help with this. So create a folder inside your project, call it animations. And then um, inside of there, create a animation controller, or more accurately, an o animator override controller, and call it something like basic crowd animator. And with this, we're going to override a controller that comes with the Wizards Code's animations package. So click on the little target thing up here, type in humanoid. Uh, it's not showing up. We need to click this little button to have everything in a package show up. So basic humanoid controller. Uh, and now we need to drag our animations into this controller. So find the third person character controller animation folder inside standard assets. And let's drag these in. Start with the human idle. And then we don't have a run backwards. So we're going to use a run forward, but don't worry about that. In this, the, the, um, nothing's going to be going backwards. Um, for the run left, we'll use the run turn. So we've got run left turn and right okay uh, there's no sprint animation so we'll use the run again uh, for strafe we don't actually have a strafe so we're going to use this standing turn animation which will work fairly well um, obviously we would tune the controller to our animations if we were uh, had lots of animations to work with final ones are walk and just like before we have backward and forwards so these are going to be good enough Remember, we're trying to do this with no expense whatsoever. So now go to our prefab uh, for our UMA and tell the UMA controller to use that locomotion controller, uh, sorry, animator controller. And then we should be done. Hit play. Let's see what happens. And there we go. They are animating. A little bit of jerkiness here and there. We can probably tune the nav mesh a little. So let's have a look at that. Um, let's turn off auto braking and make the stopping distance about one, acceleration about four. Yeah, I think that will probably make a, a, a difference here. So click play, a lot better, I think. But they are floating a little bit across the, up the ground there. So let's go and create a base offset. Let's try, I don't know, uh, minus 0 0.08. Let's try that. There we go. That's much better. Less jittery. Still some jitter in there. We could uh, could improve things a lot on and, and also having a uh, animation controller that is tuned to our animations would be good. One quick and easy thing we can do, though, is to decrease the stopping distance. You may have noticed that when they were stopping, there was a bit of skidding going on. And if you look at some when they stop... Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, so that looks pretty good. What else can we do? How about we make some bigger crowds? So let's go in and uh, duplicate our renderer a couple of times, uh, our random generator, I should say, a couple of times, and then move those out a little so that they're not all in the same place. There we go. And uh, we can just hit play, I think. Let's see what happens. So the first one has started spawning. Let's make that full size. Second one will start in a moment. There we go. And the third shortly after that. There we are. So once that's finished spawning, we will have 300 Umas wandering around on this screen, which is pretty awesome for, what, 10 minutes work? Really good stuff. So what are we going to do next? Well, this is what we're aiming at. And on the left here in the scene view, you can see that we're almost there. The only thing really that's missing at this point is the terrain and the trees and grasses and so on. So click that subscribe button, click the notification bell. It'll be with you soon. Bye bye.